two ball clubs, one division. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Detroit Tigers. Coming up on 2K Sports. When he's on, he is almost unhittable. Eric Bedard will see if he's on for this game. Always great to play at home, and today the Tigers will be doing that. 2K Sports and Major League Baseball welcomes you. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. The starting pitcher, Rick Porcello. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? The youngster, Rick Porcello, out of the mound, a young kid with quality stuff. His strikeout numbers aren't there yet, but he's still learning how to use a sequence of pitches. But when he gets in trouble as a hitter, you have to look for that two-seam fastball. It's his bread-and-butter pitch. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. So who are you looking at, John? Well, when you watch Johnny Damon, you don't want to emulate his swing. It's not one of the prettiest swings you ever see in baseball, but it is one of the more effective ones. He's got power. He can hit for average. And when he gets on base, he's a threat to steal. Play ball. The last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. We've got a match aggressive be going right now. This is a 12-game win streak. Not a lot of streaks go deeper. Well, you have to like their chances. They come in winners of their last 12 ball games. Looking for lucky 13 in this one. I mean, this team is showing they've got everything going right now. And so Damon retired. Let's see how the Tigers line up on defense. Alexi, well, Steve, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Brandon is one of the best athletes in the game today, Gary. He's bounced all around the field. He's been a shortstop. He's been a third baseman. He's been a catcher. But his athletic ability is what allows him to be solid defensively at any position. On the way. That's that breaking ball go outside for ball one. You saw their last game. You saw what a big part of their offense he was contributing with three base hits. Right. Swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez not making contact. That'll even up the count. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. One two pitch coming. That one swung on, hit in the air. And it just goes foul. Hit hard to second. Santiago. Two away. Here's what's next for the Tigers. Thursday, they will finish up the Chicago series. Their homestand continues with another team, the Los Angeles Angels. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Following that, they'll have to deal with Evan Longoria. The Rays come into town. Boy, have they been rolling. Not too tough a schedule coming up for them. And it's Paul Canerco now. Two out, space is empty. Curveball swung on and missed. Now it's 0 1. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Press ball swung on and missed. Side retired. It goes quickly for Ricky Porcello. 1 2 3. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. And doing the pitching, it'll be Eric Bedard. He's going to start for Chicago. So, Steve, what's he going to be conscious of now as he looks at this Detroit lineup? Well, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ball game here, but this is a great lineup. A lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of his game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. one -0 on the way. That one gets passed, but no damage done. Here's the 2-0. Pitch misses, ball three, and now in. He can afford to look at a couple if he wants to. Lifetime numbers 219 off the White Sox. Here's the delivery. And now the count goes to three and one. Brandon Inge with a hitter's count. Detroit coming in off a loss in their last one. They really were hoping for a sweep. Still 2-1 against the Red Sox in Boston. Now the 3-1 pitch. He lets that fastball go by. Called strike three and two. Looking back on that last one, they had a chance. Didn't get it done. Well, they had a chance, but it looked like there were some concentration lapses on this team late in the game. 
Inge digging in. Here's the pitch. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. One away. Take a look at Jimmy Leland's lineup. This is brought to you by Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, you talk about a veteran guy right here in Carlos Guillen that when he's healthy, he can be a big time run producer in the middle of the lineup. He hasn't had that help though the last few years, but when he's on, he can really carry a team. Switch hitter, both sides of plate power, very valuable to have on your team. And Carlos Guillen up. You're going to have to look for a little bit more patience at the plate in this game because last game out struck out three times chasing pitches out of the zone. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. The pitch hit sharply towards the hole. So Guillen is set down. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Uh, Steve, a factor for them? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. Two outs and in the box, Miguel Cabrera. A called strike. And with two strikes on him now, Cabrera needs to be protective of that zone. Pitch on the way. Hit in the air to left center. Damon. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Nobody left on base. No runs or hits here in this half inning. We're scoreless in Detroit. Part of the order due to bat next. We're at Comerica Park and enjoying this great evening along with you with Major League Baseball. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's going to get us started. Second inning. Paints the lower outside corner. Call strike one. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. Oh, and he swings on a dirt pitch. Guess he couldn't see that one. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. This one's going to be fielded by Ordonez. As he retreats back for it, he gets the up. And Beckham's in the box. He's gone one for one lifetime up for Sella. Fastball swung out and missed. 0 and 1. That one bounced in the dirt. He swung. It's a strike. Swing and a line drive down the left field line. Comes off the wall in left. And he's in at second with a double, 1 0. Say that the 0 2 count by far is an advantage for the pitcher. But in this situation, he fought off a tough pitch and slapped the base hit. Great job on that at bat. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Man on second, one away. And it's hit well off the bat of Rios. This one's going to be fielded by Ordonez. He's taking charge, puts it away. And now, courtesy of State Farm, here's a chance to view the league's best RBI producers. So these are the run producers right here, the guys that, that ultimately decide whether your team wins or loses. They can pick up RBIs in any situation. Chance to drive it a run, A.J. Pierzynski. One of the best batting averages in the league. He's looking a little confused out there right now. He just swung at a pitch that was in the dirt. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Strike, Strike two. Porcello gives himself a little room. Well, he was way behind on that one. Must have been looking for something else. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Rayburn. That one.
Adams grab. Side retired. So Rick Porcello holding it down. He emerges from the first two innings on scale. Next up, Tigers. Cleanup batter. Do up next. And Maglio Ordonez to lead it off. Right fielder. Number 30, Maglio Ordonez. Taps this one foul to the right. Bedard gets set and delivers. That's it foul by Ordonez. Two pitch from Bedard. And Maglio Ordonez goes down swinging. Strike three. Oh, Gary, that's a great pitch right there. Great command and control. And hitting the spot down and in. That makes it real tough on him. It's Rayburn at the plate. One out. Bases him. Hit sharply towards the hole. Over to Conerco. Two down. It's going to be Santiago now. Ace is empty and two down. First pitch is a big curveball in there. 0 and 1. No balls. One strike. Here's Bedard. Line drive fouled off towards first. the big bender struck him outside retired no runs no hits nobody crossed the plate in this half inning and nobody left on base we're scoreless in Detroit and here's Mark Tian leading it off right there in the top five and home runs 25 Mark Tian he delivers hit in the air to center field and it drops the base hit Tian keeps running. At the and plane. mark your calendars. The this Friday, it'll be There's Alex Rodriguez and the New York Yankees. They'll be hosting the Boston Red Sox. going will be starting at 7 o'clock Eastern. Really looking forward to calling that game. It's got a chance to be a very interesting matchup between those two teams. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. And as Jim told me in the box now, what a year for him. Top five in homers. Sinker drops in for a called strike. And a ground ball. Cabrera. And it gets through. Keep the streak going. And he's in there. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Left fielder, number 18, Johnny Daly. What a big RBI. He comes through right there in the clutch to break this scoreless tie. Great at bat. First pitch on the way to Damon. Took something off and it swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, I got a chance to drive one out of the ballpark in that last ball game for him. And I think with that, they got to think about getting somebody on in front of them because it looks like the power's coming. The pitch. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Now you can hang laundry on that one. 94 miles per hour. Pretty good velocity, but that's pretty straight. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. 
And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Back up the middle. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. Well, Alexi Ramirez's season so plate. far. Let's take a look at where he ranks himself. compared to everybody First else. Base. Second Number double, 14. third most oh, in hits. And as you can see, that ability to make contact is there, hitting for a very high average, ranked among the top 10 hitters in the league. This a great situation for some offense. And here's Paul Canerco. And he starts Canerco out. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And another. Wow, that hitting coach is smiling. At Tremendous play, situation now for the White Sox. Well, a key contributor in that last win. Three big hits in that game. And he's seeming to find a way again to get it started. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. And when you got the bases loaded like this, this is the opportunity you look for in a game. It may not come again. Well, when you have a lead, you want to keep adding to it. A big opportunity here to spread the margin. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. I saw the last game he delivered in the clutch with three RBIs in that one. A big part of their You're offensive out. contribution. The plate. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a case. Well, you get a runner in scoring position uh, early in the ball game. That's a chance they don't take advantage of. Yeah, and that's one of those at bats right there that could come back later in the game to hurt you. Got him out quickly, though. First pitch on the way. This ball is hammered deep right, and that will end the half inning as Ordonez makes the play. One run, third inning, not a break that scoreless tie. The White Sox on top, one to nothing. Ozzie Guillen taking a look at you right there. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. Lined hard down the left field line. And that one's down. That's the team's first hit. He's going to try to stretch it. And he ends up at second. That's a double. But well, the first thing you have to do if you want to score runs is get a base hit. They finally got that hit. Now let's see if they can bring him around. It's layered at the plate. Now Brzezinski positions himself. Runs up to bunt. Gets this one down. Throw on to first in time. One away. Now the move run along the third base right there, Gary. Nice job getting the job done. Excellent, Bunny. Made that look easy in an unusual situation. Well, you know, if you pop that up, you got a chance to get the runner picked off the base. So he he executed it very well. And it's Everett batting. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0 and 1. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it. Or he's got no chance to hit it. Fastball in there, struck him out, out number two. Well, you get a runner in scoring position uh, early in the ball game. That's a chance they don't take advantage of. Yeah, and that's one of those at bats right there that could come back later in the game to hurt you. Got him out quickly, though. And Brandon Inge at the plate. And frequently walked. He's the most walked hitter in this division. Oh, and Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this A.B. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. But they pounded a oh. fastball down and in for a strike. Bedard gets set and delivers. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. They get a man to third, but can't bring him home. Still unable to score. Detroit still nothing on the board. And Alex Rios to lead off. And one of the top ten Number averages right now. Alex Rios. And he starts Rios out. Oh, not get around in time. Oh, one. Consistency, professionalism. He never seems to give up in it back, Gary. He's so oh, locked no. in this year. Dirt pitch swung on and missed. Not feeling real good about that one. He makes contact, line drive. And he's not able to get there. It rolls all the way to the wall. So with nobody out, he's aboard at second after that double. 
number 12. Well, what a great AJ swing right there. Good. Anytime you can put yourself in scoring position with no outs, you're looking for big things to happen. It's going to be Przinsky. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Well, that sort of first step quickness, Rios is a real threat to run. They've got to keep an eye on him. Swing and a ball hit high in the air. Straight away left field. Over the wall, a two-run home run. Now well, he clearly missed his spot right here. He had no intention throwing it over the middle of the plate, but he did, and he paid for it. This is just further proof, even at the major league level, nobody's perfect. He just knocked the cover off that ball. Now coming to so the put it back on the Chicago White Sox. White Sox base. lead expanding Number here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. First pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed. 0 1. This is a really momentum feel home run. Uh, you get it at this point of the ball game. You add some juice to the whole offense. Well, this could be a decisive moment in the game. I mean, these hits early on could ultimately impact the result at the end of the game. Can't connect on that curve. Falls behind one and two. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got swing and a miss. Gets away. He's heading for first. And out. The catcher makes the play. Oh, that's a great play, Gary. Pitch in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher. Does a great job retrieving the ball and gunning him out at first. If you're a pitcher, you never want those strikeouts not to get recorded. Good play to be able to get the out at first base. And Jim Tomey. Lifetime. He's picked up no hits. Three at-bats off Porcello. Swing and a miss. Tomey. Strike one. But Gary, these hitters are really now going to have to focus on his changeup. It is his best pitch, and it is one of the best around. Here's the pitch. And Jim Tomei looks at that one as a call strike three. Uh, Gary, he's getting that hard boring sinking action on that pitch today, getting guys to swing over the top. Two strikeouts in a row. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate in the top ten and hits. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. Uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. Damon will foul that one away. Johnny Damon on a swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three. And they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox up three. Those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crook and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. So Carlos Guillen leads it off. First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. Lined right at the second baseman. One down. So let's take a look at the Central Division race now. The trade deadline has passed here on the State Farm Standings Board. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. Third belongs to the Twins. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top of making us all look silly. Two outs and in the box, Maglio Ordon. Struck out swinging last time. And Ordonia settles in, first pitch. And he takes that curveball for a strike on one. Into the fourth inning, clearly pitching dominating this lineup right now. Look, he's only given up one hit. And they just have not had quality at bats against him. He's making it look easy. Curveball. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. And the one-two pitch from Bedard. You're out. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. Still unable to score. Detroit still nothing on the board. 
and it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Shortstop number 10, Alexei Ramirez. The pitch swings, lines this one back up the middle, and in there, he's two for three today. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second in doubles, third most in hits, and as you can see, that ability to make contact is there, hitting for a very high average, ranked among the top ten hitters in the league. He's the league leader in ribbies. Swing, hot shot. Oh, my, that almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. Up next, up Carlos Quinton. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Leading the MLB in batting average. First pitch to Quinton. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. That's going to one hop off the wall. The throw, and Ramirez is home. Getting Openings for this lineup for offensively. Chicago. Don't give it to them Second now because they are hot. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. And Beckham's in the box. And the offense here is putting on the show right now. They're in charge of this ball game. You know, after giving up runs like that, this is where the pitcher has to bow his neck and shut down the opponent. Damage control. This is where you uh, begin to wonder whether this game is going to start slipping away or not. And Canerco will score. Stepping up to the plate. They, they tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right people. back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steven, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate. And took hey! the yeah, it's going to be Armando Galarraga on the mound as they make the pitching swap. Well, this wasn't the type of start the pitcher wanted, or the manager wanted, or his team wanted. Now they've got to see if the bullpen can do a little bit better. And Alex Rios up. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Towards the middle. And it gets through as Rios brings him across the plate. Stepping up to the plate. Well, this is getting ugly right now. I mean, he's given up hit after hit after hit. This offense has clearly figured him out. How much longer can you leave him in and take a beating? Runners at first and second. Nobody out. And the first pitch. Uh, he can't catch up with that one. 0-1. I mean, he didn't get a chance to see his last ball game. He came up with a solo shot. Took advantage of a pitcher's mistake. Strike two. Galarraga now in control. Let's see how he uses these pitches. Well, it's tough to do any damage when you throw a slider down in the strike zone, and that's exactly what he did right there. Got the hitter to swing through it. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. And he will score from second base. And Rios comes across to Stepping score. To the plate and he'll Chicago stop White at second Sox. base. That'll Third be a two-run double. 25, Mark Tien. You want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat, and he did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. Oh. And that'll set down Tian. Our State Farm leaderboard, the group of arms who have been lights out over the past 10 games. Number one, the Yankees. White Sox in second. In third, the Tigers. Fourth spot held with the Royals. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. Both these pitching staffs have gotten the job done here of late, shutting down the opponent, really limiting the run score. Swing and a miss. Tomey, strike one. Over his career, going 291 off Detroit. Swung on and ripped towards second. Two away. Well, he gets the man over to third base, but with two outs now, it doesn't help much, but at least 90 feet closer to score. Runner at third, hoping Johnny Damon can bring him in. Top five AL and runs scored. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing line drive down the left field line. Two run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had.
They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Alexi Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Well hit towards the middle. Santiago throws to first side is retired. They've really opened this thing up now. They've opened up a seemingly insurmountable advantage. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It's Rayburn at the plate. Center fielder, number 25, Ryan. And Krasinski calls for the pitch. That one gets passed, but no damage done. Here's Bedard with a 1 0 pitch. Second pitch waves at a fastball, strike one. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on it. And that'll put Rayburn on first. Got a chance now to see where the Tigers sit in the American League ranking. Ninth in walks. Tenth in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they ranked in the top ten in ERA. Pitching a major reason why this team wins games. Pitching and defense the key. Pitching particularly. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down in the way. Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. That's one down. Stepping up to the plate for the Detroit Tigers. Designated hitter. Larry at the plate. One out. Runner on at first. And here's the first one. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Here it comes. Slider locked him up. He's behind 0 2. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Fastball got him looking two down. That's working in a hurry right there. He didn't mess around wasting pitches. But what that did, that pitch selection did, Gary, was keep the hitter off balance. And when you don't waste pitches, you put the hitter back on his heels. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Back up. And they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Still unable to score. Detroit still nothing on the board. Things will start getting a little more difficult. Third man in the lineup coming up. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Truck, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Paul Kodarko to lead it off. Here's the pitch. Swing sets this one pretty well. Deep right center. It comes off the wall in right center. He'll hold there at second base. Credit him with a double. But just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Swing and a drive, deep left center. This is a one hopper off the wall. There's the throw. That Erko's going to try and score here. And the run gets in. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. Hot shot towards the hole. One away now. There are the teams with the lowest batting average against, courtesy of State Farm. The Yankees, number one. The Red Sox, second. The Tigers, third. The A's, fourth. And at number five, it's the Angels.
Well, one of the reasons why this team wins so many games is the fact that there's not a lot of guys on base. And when you don't get a lot of guys on base, it may Swung on, that is hit. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? Two men on, one out. The first pitch. There's a ball hit very high in the air. Deep to left field. Gone. Goodbye. A three-run shot. With that three-run homer, they just extended their lead. Out on the mound, we will see Phil Cope as the Tigers turn to him in relief. I'm sure they didn't set out thinking, hey, let's pitch all our bullpen guys this early in the game. What do you think, Gary? I don't know. They need this guy to hold down the fort and see if he can't give them some innings. And here's Martian. For his career, 254 against the Tigers. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. I think he got a chance to watch the last ball game. Let's bring out the speed. A two-run home run in that ball game for him and a chance to, to deliver with runners on base. And so I think they got to be looking to get somebody on in front of them today as well. Here's the pitch. And that's a strike. Tomey is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Got him. And they're able to avert any more damage. Side retired. So they add a four spot here to extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And it's Everett batting. Shortstop. Number four, Adam Everett. And the first pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And they got to him in time to tag him up. Number 50. It's going to be Inge. Base is empty with one away. Come on and missed on one. Yeah, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. With only one runner left on base, and you know we're moving through the middle part of this ball game, so you know they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. A swing and a fly ball in the left center field. And that falls for a base hit. And that'll bring up Carlos Guillen. Now into August. Let's look at the White Sox. Thursday they wrap up this Detroit series. There's another stop on the road trip. Baltimore Orioles will be hosting. That is a four game road series. After that they'll be playing host to the Twins and uh, we'll get a chance to see Delman Young. That's a team they handled all right the last time up. They'll try for a repeat performance. One out man on first. First pitch A.B. begins to Guillen. Line drive. And Conerco makes the catch. Runner on for Miguel Cabrera. Lifetime time a 222 average against Bedard. Now swinging a shot toward second. Throw in time forces him at second for the third out. Steve, we got three innings left to go in this ball game. He's got the shutout going. We'll see whether or not he's got enough to go through. And so Johnny Damon leaves it off. And that two-run homer in his last A.B. Well, with team winning, he's been a big part of the offense, driving in the run with a base hit, and then the home run where he got a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark and capitalized on it. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swung on. Hit down the left field line. Into the corner. Gone. That's a dinger. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. No, he did it again, his second of the day. And now you got to wonder, can he do another one? Uh, he might get it done. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. A shot up the middle. And in there. He gets that one down. That's his third hit, three for five. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second double, third most in hits. And as you can see, that ability to make contact is there 
hitting for a very high average, ranked among the top 10 hitters in the league. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Three for four thus far. And he starts Canerco out. Can't connect its own one. Career, he's 0 for 1 off Coke. He deals. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. That's a great strikeout right there, Gary. Three pitches, and he sits him down. How about that for efficiency? First pitch to Quinton. Horrible pitch, but he went after it. It's a strike. Takes a swipe on that pitch in the dirt. Not sure if he saw that. Waste one there, one and two. That's a good pitch there. Tried to get him to chase it out of the zone. He just laid off. And Laird spotting the pitch. Big swing at him as Carlos Quentin goes down swing. Well, the slider is his go-to pitch, and it's not surprising. You can see why. Two strikeouts in a row on that hard-breaking, nasty slider. Two outs and a man on first. And here's the first one. Well hit towards the middle. And it gets through. He's had the swing going today on base three out of five. Here's a look at the leaderboard brought to you by State Farm in the race for the batting champion. Well, you know, leading the league in hitting, he has that ability to hit from line to line and hit any kind of pitch, that ability to put the good part of the bat on the ball very consistently. The pitch. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. Here's the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. He's painting the black away with that fastball, Gary, hitting the spots and with great velocity. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And Ordonia settles in first pitch. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. And it's going to be Quentin. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. And you know he's looking ahead and feeling pretty good about it. And with good reason. He hasn't given up a run yet, and he's got to be gaining confidence. One out, nobody on. Here's the delivery. Oh, Takes a call. It's strike one. Now, Gary, it's tough to score when you only get three hits. We're deep into this ball game, and they have just not been able to mount any pressure against him today. And he squares around, gets down the butt. Bedard, and he gets there in time. Safe. For the Detroit Second base. It's going to be Santiago now. Flew out last time. Santiago. First pitch, here it comes. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. A good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. He swings and nails a liner. And it's caught by Ramirez. And they just try to hold him there at first. Dedicated hitter. Larish at the plate. One for two in the ballgame. Looks at one. That's in there for a strike. The hitter lays off this pitch, realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Fantastic chance here. Uh, gets a letter-high pitch, a good pitch to hit, and he takes advantage of it. Nice job. Hitting from behind is not an easy thing to do in this game, but a little easier when the pitch is up there. Uh, you throw it over the plate like that, it's going to cost you. Oh, that's trouble. That's going to be tracked down. And he takes off for second. Come on, come on. 
at the belt, the 1 0. 1 0 delivery is a fastball in there, 1 1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. The pitch called strike two and two. Three. Man, oh man, is he on a roll on the mound, Steve. You can tell by his eyes he's completely locked in right now in absolute control. And a frustrated lineup indeed. That's now seven shutout innings. The White Sox still ahead. Bottom three do up next. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Ford. With Steve Phillips and John Clark. Now the first pitch. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. One for four in his career against Coke. And that's a strike. A.J. Przinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. A swing and a miss, strike three, but a chance at first. And there's the throw down to first base, and they got him. Nice play by the catcher. Time to get out of the crouch and get it over to first base ahead of the batter. Sometimes these things can get away from you. He did a great job keeping it in front. Good hustle and a great arm. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. Hard ground at a short, played by Everett, and that'll set down Tian. Here's a quick check of the home run leaders in the league, brought to you by State Farm. Well, this is a list of hitters that strike fear in the opposition pitching. They have to because they know with one swing of the bat, they can change the score of the game. Two outs, bases empty. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swung on and missed. On one. Swing and a miss. Fastball is a waste pitch that time. One and two. Well, how about a chance to get through an inning without any base runners and without any runs? I mean, they've been blowing out this one so far. Put a, put a zero. <clears throat> Put a zero up there and let's see if the offense can get it done. So uh, he ended that half inning with a strikeout. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. And now, here come the Tigers. This is going to be the last half. There's a familiar face, Jim Leland. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get them going in the right direction. Not a pretty pitch, no damage. Here's Bedard with a 1 0 pitch. And he takes a strike on that fastball, 1 1. Okay, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's had, they've had a few base runners on against them, no question about it. They've gotten a few hits. But he's, not, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. Got him! You know, they use the term filthy. I'm telling you, what we've seen from him today, that's what he's throwing. No, absolute filth, no question about it. He's got the hitters off balance. He's in complete control. And Brandon Inge at the plate. Trying again here, just one for three thus far. And Inge settles in for the first pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. And Inge is retired. He's just four outs away from a complete game shot. Now he's so locked in. He's in the zone right now. I think he can handle it. Planter gets a shot here. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now great work by the pitcher there. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Last time he launched one out of the park. But Gary, he's been an absolute nemesis today. I mean, he's so locked in right now. And two home runs in this one. And obviously, they got a chance to run away with it. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0-1. A look at the numbers in this matchup. 
302 against the Tiger. Swung on and missed, strike two. Well, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Hit hard to second. And so Damon retired. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. Working on a fine ball game, three for five to this point. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. It's strike one, can't make contact on the fastball. And it's 0-2, Alexei Ramirez gonna have to protect now. Credit the catcher on that one, that's a good low target setting up and he hit the target, good execution. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Well, Alexi Ramirez's First season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks Paul compared to everybody else. Second in doubles, third most in hits. And as you can see, that ability to make contact is there, hitting for a very high average, ranked among the top 10 hitters in the league. Runner at first with one down. And he starts Canerco out. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0 and 1. He has a 286 batting average against the Tigers. That's a foul ball. Doesn't offer at it, 1 and 2. The 1-2 one, on its way. Swings. Ball is clobbered high, deep to left center field. Gone! A two-run homer. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. And Quentin settles in. Right fielder. Base is empty with one away. Pitch on the way. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Steve, uh, we've watched them just dominating here in this game, the pitching unable to find the outs. Well, that home run may be the exclamation point on this one. Get a break here and a chance to look at the leaders in slugging team wise, brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox number one, the Red Sox in second, third the Yankees, fourth the Jays, and we've got the Twins who are number five. But one through nine, this team can absolutely pound the baseball. Number one in baseball and slugging percentage, and it goes one through nine. They don't care who it is. They're going to set back on that back leg and try to drive you out of the ballpark. They absolutely pound the ball. Slung on and miss behind now, 0-2. I well, clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it. Got him to swing right through it. And Rayburn, that'll do it as they put that one away. And they had a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. to be very pleased right now riding this one up and he starts Cabrera out ground ball headed for the middle back up one away and you get this close two outs away from having a complete game shutout now Gary it always helped to have solid defensive play backing you up when you're trying to put the finishing touches on a game like this And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Well, he's dazzled them out on the mound here in this one. He shut them down, keeping them off the board. Only three runners left on base, and they really haven't even challenged the defense. That one is going to miss. Low for a ball, 1 and 1. Here's a strike, bottom half of the zone, 1 and 2 now. They just plain old fooled him right there. He must have been looking for something else. Hit his spot perfectly with that change. That swung on and a liner here. Over to Canerco. That's the second out. 
Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now, the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. First pitch on the way. And it's fouled off. Here's the delivery. A really bad pitch right there to ball. Good spot that time. Hit that outside corner. One and two. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. That ball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 count. That one goes foul. strike three. That's it. Put that one in the record book, Steve. A great performance and a shutout. Now, what a way to end it, Gary. No better way to cap off a fine pitching performance like that than to end it with a punch out. A tough loss here for this crowd today, but boy, do they see some, some kind of pitching performance from the visiting team. Now, we'd like to grant the Pepsi Clutch Performance Award now. Well, you couldn't have asked for a more dominant display on the mound than what we saw today. He was mixing his pitches well, changing speeds, but the thing you noticed, he didn't throw any pitches over the center of the plate. That's what made it so special. And when he needed it, he could get back and reach back and get that little bit extra when he needed that big out. Made it look easy out there today, Gary. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter. And he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today. The good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. This is Gary Thorne with John Truck and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time. As good as we did, then you're all set. See you next time.